Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy AB. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are continuing the mod on the 1995 Potato Head. In part one, we separated the eyes and made the eye mod, which I'm gonna sand down the rough parts of this so they look more smooth around the edges. And we also drilled eye holes, new eye holes, so he could do the whole one-eyed bar look. Yesterday, I actually got a 1985 potato head in the mail. Now, what makes these potato heads unique from this time were that they had different kinds of arms, and these arms were not able to be removed like, you know, the 90s to modern day potato heads. So they were kind of stuck in there, but they were rubbery and bendy and more accurate to the Toy Story films. So here's what I did. I took a pair of kitchen utility scissors here and cut off the rubber arms to the 1985 potato head. And what was I gonna do to make them compatible with the 1995 potato head? I took the arms from the 1995 potato head, cut the pegs off with the utility scissors here, and then I used Gorilla Super Glue and glued the pegs onto the rubber arms. Now, I let them, over, I let them dry overnight, and now they are compatible with the 1995 potato head, and they give a much more accurate look and feel. Take a look at this beauty. Like this is awesome right here. This is not the only thing we're going over on this custom mod video. We are also going over the feet mod. I already separated and modded the feet here. Just need to drill the holes in, but here's what you gotta do. You need two pairs of the blue shoes right here, right? And you gotta, you gotta like start cutting through the shoes here. Now I didn't use scissors. I used my trail knife right here, right here did the job really nice and cleanly here. And as soon as you're cutting right next to the peg on the first pair, use a pair of utility scissors and cut the peg off. That way you have it because you need to save the pegs here. Then once you're done sawing through the shoes with a utility knife here, get to the next pair. And you won't be really needing this pair. In fact, I don't even plan on using them because you know, they're kind of dirty looking. Disgusting! But they were useful for the mod here. I did the same uh, steps for this part right here and cut off the peg right here. And here, I applied the pegs onto the separate shoes. Now, I did something different. I didn't use super glue because I didn't really have any access to any at the moment, but I improvised. I used push pins. Now, I preferred the blue ones because they match the color the best and they blend in more easily. And you push the push pins up through this area of the feet right there. Make sure the needle is spoken out for each of them. Then you take the pegs and slowly twist the pegs onto the needle and they will slide right in momentarily. And here you got the separated feet mod. Now the, all that's left here is to just drill the holes at the bottom, which I used a Sharpie to locate where I'm gonna drill. Now, what I'm probably gonna do for part three, I'm just gonna get out of the way, is uh, whenever I get the clay here to uh, cover up the holes, including this area, I'm actually gonna probably paint the whole potato head a different color, like a darker brown to make it more film accurate. And I'm gonna get clay for the eyebrows here and super glue them to the potato head so they just won't be able to be removed. And uh, yeah, I'm also probably gonna spray paint these shoes right here a darker blue so they will uh, blend in easily with the push pins here, and they will have a much more movie accurate color. All right, here it is, the nearly finished product. Have you ever wanted to see something so beautiful? So unattainable. My custom modded 1995 potato head here in all his amazing glory. So the only problem I kind of have with him is if you pick him up his shoes are kind of loosey-goosey a little bit so you got to kind of be careful with that and I might actually get some kind of clay to kind of keep it sticky on the inside so it doesn't really pop out easily but I mean it's not terrible but the feet could be better and like I said there is going to be a part three where I actually spray paint the shoes to be a more movie accurate darker blue color. Uh, I might repaint the whole potato head along with the eyelids of him, super glue some eyebrows on him out of black clay. I might even spray paint the ears a different shade of pink and spray paint the arms 
a brighter shade of white. And I will need some extra clay to kind of cover up the uh, non-necessary holes here, including the hole in the center right there and repaint over that. But other than that, he looks pretty darn good. And this was a pretty successful mod considering this is my first actual custom toy mod. And guys, you have no idea how bad it triggered me to have a Mr. Potato Head that was out of commission for my display shelf. I mean, it looked so off and it triggered my OCD severely. In fact, if you cannot tell, I actually reorganized some things on my Toy Story uh, collection display right up there and down there. But yes, my brain is finally at peace now that I actually can display my somewhat completed movie accurate potato head. And I will be doing a Mrs. Potato Head mod next out of my Toy Story 4 Mrs. Potato Head. And this is uh, the one I'm going to be working on. So I'm going to have a lot of fun doing that with this. And guys, I wanted to apologize for having this video come out really late. I know I did the part one of my custom mod on this potato head like a month ago, and I filmed the majority of it a while back for this video, but I just kind of had a lot of other stuff coming around that was happening to me, and I didn't really have enough time to complete the mod because I had so much going on, and I, I'm literally like filming multiple different videos simultaneously, like at the same time, and it's just really stressful but yeah crossing our fingers the mrs potato head mod will not take forever to come out nor will the part three of this video but yeah guys you guys have reached it to the end of my video if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like comment down below and please subscribe and turn on notification bell so you don't miss a single video this has been your boy 80 out peace out rainbow trouts